Today we are starting a new unit. In this unit we're learning how to write argument. The first technique that I'm going to give you for writing argument is how to write a really powerful hook. In this lesson you'll learn how writers write a hook that captures the reader's attention within the first few lines. So how do you do that? How do you grab the reader's attention within the first few lines? How do you make them want to keep reading? I think that the best hooks have a big effect on the reader. Maybe that effect is to make them laugh. Maybe it piques their curiosity. Maybe it makes them feel sad about a problem or feel empathy for a person or a group of people. Maybe it surprises them. Whatever the effect is, it needs to be big enough to make the reader want to keep reading. That hook should really stick with them. So today what I want to do is I want to show you several different types of hooks that you can use. And then by the end of the period today, I would love for you to have tried on several different types of these hooks. Um, I was recently reading an article. Um, it's called Opinion Captain Marvel Has a Powerful Female Lead. Young Girls Should See It. It's about the Captain Marvel movie and how important it was um, that uh, it had a female lead, that it had a, the main character was a woman. Um, and in the article, they talk about actually how little movies have women playing these leading roles. So what I want to do is I want you to imagine that I am writing an argumentative essay. Um, and I am writing this essay about how Hollywood needs to give women more powerful leading roles in movies. So today what I want to do is I actually want to write seven different hooks for this one essay. So I'm going to start with a surprising statistic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and find a statistic about my topic that's really going to surprise the reader. So I found a statistic about um, the percentage of women that play these leading roles in the most popular films. So here's my hook. San Diego State University recently published a study about women in the film industry. They found that women accounted for 24% of protagonists in the 100 top grossing fi domestic films of 2017, a decrease of 5 percentage points from the year before. When I actually found the statistic, I was like, oh my gosh, that is less than a quarter of all of the lead roles in these really popular films, right? That's less than a quarter that are actually played by women. And that number is going down to decrease. So I thought that was a really surprising statistic. You could start with an expert quote. So you're going to go find a quote from an expert on your topic. Um, and you're going to use that as your hook to really grab the reader's attention. So I thought an expert actually um, was a lead actress. Um, so I found a um, quote from uh, Lupita Nyong'o. Um, she was uh, the lead in Black Panther. Until I saw people who looked like me doing the things I wanted to do, said Lupita Nyong'o, lead actress in, Ho in, in Hollywood hit Black Panther, I wasn't sure that it was a possibility. I thought this is a great hook because she really speaks to how important it is that women play these leading roles so that these young girls can see themselves in the films and actually think that they can do that, right? You can start with a personal example. This is your chance to really connect with the reader, to share a little bit of your story, your experience with the topic. So I was thinking back um, about my all of the movies that I have loved the most and um, the roles that I've seen women in in those movies. So here's my hook. As a child, I loved movies, especially movies that featured women. It wasn't until I was a teenager that I realized that almost all of my favorite movies featured men in powerful roles. They swoop in, voices booming, and save the day. Women, on the other hand, if featured at all, played the romantic interest, damsel in distress, or were just there to wear a sexy lingerie. So this is your chance, personal example, is your chance to really think about your own experience and to share that with the reader. 
you can also make a connection. And this is where you're going to speak directly to the reader. You're going to try to appeal directly to the reader by like speaking to them. So here's my example of making connection. 2018 was a year full of blockbusters, whether it was Avengers, Infinity War, Jurassic World, Aquaman, or one of other hits. I'm going to guess that at some point this year, you found yourself sitting in a dark theater, a $15 theater ticket in your pocket, watching a must-see film. I'm also going to guess that that film featured a male lead. So I'm introducing the topic and grabbing the reader's attention by speaking directly to the reader. I'm saying you, right? I'm, I, I can, I'm guessing that you found yourself sitting in a dark theater. Um, I also want you to notice um, I'm playing with humor here, right? Um, I chose the effect of making the reader laugh um, to hopefully grab their attention. You can define it. Um, so I, um, rather than going and like looking for um, a, uh, a, a definition in like Webster's Dictionary, um, I found a, a definition in an article. So I wanted to define um, a blockbuster film. So here's my hook using define it. A blockbuster film is a film that is extremely popular and brings in a ton of money. Usually, these are Hollywood films that are made with huge budgets and big name stars. Although some of those big name stars may be women, very few are featured as, um, as sorry, in the leading role. Why? Hollywood knows what sells, and it's not women. So I'm actually just starting, right, with the definition, um, but I'm using that to really introduce my topic that um, Hollywood knows that women um, don't sell movies in these leading roles, right? And they, they need to be represented more so they can. Um, so I'm introducing my topic through this definition, um, but I'm also using it to really like get to grab the reader's attention. You can start with a clever question. Um, I have seen this done so poorly in the past, um, but you can actually be really creative with a clever question. So if it's done well, a clever question can be a really strong hook. So here's my clever question. We've all seen at least a few blockbuster films. When you think back at all the films that you've watched, how many times have you seen a character in the lead role who looked like you? So there's my question, right? How many times have you seen a character in the lead role that looked like you? If the answer is all the time, you're probably a white guy. Again, I'm trying on humor as my hook. Um, and then last, um, I think a really strong um, way to hook the reader is by using your narrative tools, right? We know that people love reading story. So use some of those techniques that you learned in this last unit, um, maybe to write a hook. So here's my um, narrative tools hook. I sat in the dark theater, awestruck at her strength. She spoke with power and people listened. She didn't have to use her body to get people's attention. I watched instead as the man played the role of her love interest. Leaving the theater that day, I felt empowered. Okay, so here's your job today. You are going, I want you to imagine that you're writing an argumentative letter to the school board, and this is what you're writing about. So tomorrow we are reading this article um, about how um, students need more time at lunch. Um, so I want you to write, imagine, just picture that you're writing this argumentative letter to the Seattle School Board, and you, your job is to convince them to increase the length of your lunches. So you today are working on your introductory paragraph, but I just want you to write your hook. Um, so today, by the end of the period, I want you to write three different hooks that you could use for your introductory paragraph. Your central claim is that the Seattle Seat School Board should increase the amount of time students have to eat lunch. So just to remind you, you are only writing the hook. You're writing three different hooks that you might use to kick off this introductory paragraph. Okay, get started.